Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. I'm Bink Deadpool, and in the last episode, we actually cleared the Magitech facility, got us a bunch of espers, and now we're apparently on our way to go visit Terra in Zozo. So, I'm worried about Terra. Let's return to Zozo. Just like I said. Terra? Who's that? I'll explain on the way. About Terra, espers, returners, everything. It's a lot to take in, Setzer, so be prepared for the long, long story. Picks my beard a little bit. My bad. Anyway, here we go. We're just going right up into up in there. We're all here. Tara. She still looks like she's uh, an Esper form. Oh, one of them's reacting. Magisite. Father? I remember it all. I was raised in the Esper world. Or Esper's world. Whatever. I'm sorry. I can't read very well. It's my bad. It's Florida education. The Esper world. Interesting place. I like the look of it. What am I... Oh, cool. Okay, so I control one of the espers. That's cool. Can't go to bed. Alright, so let's go outside. It's nice and dark. Ominous, almost. You, you, you. Emergency. Something's coming through the gate. Okay. Oh. Listen well. Think clearly. What will you do? Return together or leave her here? Hmm. I'm gonna return together. Can't do anything, okay. She's pretty weak. Better let her rest a moment. Okay, so I'll let her rest a moment. Did you hear there was a... Or did I hear there was a human here? Probably. Wandered in by... Uh, probably wandered in here by mistake. Sorry. What about you? What do you got to say? Better do away with it. Humans and espers are incompatible. It's a big word. Yeah, I already, I already heard what you had to say. Did I awaken you? You're an esper. What's that pendant for? It's yours now. It helps protect the esper world. Esper world? Boy, did I take the low road or what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Obviously thinks that she ran into the gutters. So that's that's great. That's, that's a thing. The Esper folk are pretty upset. You being a human and all. You're the one who saved me. I am Mandolin. I tried living in the human world. That world is filled with desire, greed, and loathing. It's highly infectious. Are humans and espers truly so different? So, I'm an example of the evil in the world, huh? Oh, and apparently her name is Madonna. No, I mean... I'll return to my world tomorrow. You'll need a guide. Hmm. Elder is just like, hmm. This doesn't bode well. Okay. Alright, so, uh, now what? Oh, there he is. There's the Elder. It's nice and bright now. Everything alright? What? Human's gone. Human girl made it all the way to the gate. What have you got to say? If this generation of humans knew about our abilities and decided they wanted to utilize our powers, it would be a total disaster. Do we have some foreshadowing there, perhaps? What's wrong, Manduin? 
out of my way. Get, get out of my way. I'm gonna stop her. If you don't want to return to your world, you may stay here. But humans and Nespers can never coexist. How do we know for sure unless we observe for ourselves? How do we know? Unless we... Oh look, they're dancing. They're dancing. Observe for ourselves. Oh. 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 They weren't dancing at all. <laughs> We've given her a name. What? It's Tara. Not bad, huh? Oh. Two years later. Uh-oh. Humans, the nexus between our worlds is opened again. The wind, so odd, just like two years ago. Oh, this time it's worse, but something's different now. Troops have come seeking our magic power. Oh, blasted. We made it as far as the Elder's house. Hmm. Aha! We finally found it. Those ancient writings told us of this world, and described the awesome magical properties of these beasts. Grab them. Riches to any man who captures an Esper. Go! Terra's alright. We've no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean, the magical barrier. Magic barrier. Here's the plan. We'll cause a tempest that'll sweep the, all the nasty creatures out of our realm. Then we'll seal the gate. I'm the last of our kind able to cast this magical seal. But in your state, you might just pass away. But at least we'll finally be safe. Madonna. I, for one, will not miss the other side. Let's do it. We have no other choice. Soon, humans will arrive. This is all because of that human girl. Nonsense. I'm sure she's helped the others find us. Get a grip on yourself. No, she's one of them. She'll be wear she'll soon be wearing our hides. Ugh. See what you've done. Oh my god, now I gotta go chase her down. Just find out I probably went to the gate, so. Where are you going? Ugh. Madonna's getting drawn into the next world. Possible. It's too late. I've already begun casting the barrier. There's no turning back. That fool. I gotta run. Look what popped out. <laughs> Just when we are about to reach a veritable bonanza. <laughs> Okay, so he got swept away, so that's good. Madonna. Or, excuse me. <laughs> Reading her name, Madonna. Manduin, I'm not their friend. I understand that. Thank you. Can you make it back here? Sure. Oh, there goes Tara. Tara! And she just, of course, has to go after her baby. Madonna! Hmm. Oh man, this can't be good. A uh, human girl? Who, who is she? Please, take care of my baby. Your girl? Hmm. That, then she's half human, half... 
How absolutely fascinating. <laughs> she will help us realize our dream faster than we ever imagined. No! Quiet, my dear. Ooh. We will own this world. <laughs> Acting. Thank you. That was my father. I'm a product of an Esper and a human. That's where I got my powers. Now I understand. I finally feel I can begin to control this power of mine. So Gishal must have known the secret of the Esper's power back then. And those Espers at the facility were grabbed during, the, 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 during that expedition. That means Celeste's power came at the expense of an Esper. They can't get away with this. We have to strike back. What's happening in Narshe? Hmm. Maybe we should head back that way. The airship's ready. Come on. Alright, cool. So, now we're heading back to Narsh. 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 I, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it Narsh. Sorry. It's a lot of confusion. Horrible reading. By all means, take a turn at the wheel. Operating instructions. Left and right are the directions. Up and down are altitude. The A button is to move forward. The X button is to go amidship. And there you can change party members or purchase items. B is to land and A is to lift off again. Alright. Shall I teach you a technique too? Yeah, sure, why not? Press the start mo button to view the map. Already figured that out. Sorry, my beard is tickling my nose. Hold the Y button down to use the control pad to move in all directions. Use the L and R with the control pad for high speed turns. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. But anyway, um since we are our goal is at this point to head back to Narsh, uh let's head back that way. Boom 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 boom. Oh, uh, and actually we're going to change the party just slightly cuz I need to open up another uh spot. I need to open up a spot on the party, on our group. Gal becomes stronger on the belt. It's good to remember that because eventually we're going to have to go back there to get some more of his, his, uh, um, bleh, more of his rages. Just make him go all pissed off and shit. Anyway, uh, yes, we need to change party members. Um, let's see, we're going to try and use some of our other party members who have not gotten much time and are actually lower level at this point, so we're going to use Setzer. We just got Terra back, so we're going to use her. And who else? Uh, it looks like we're going to use Cyan. I, I'm sure uh, I should probably use Gao, but <laughs> at this point I think it'd probably be, be better if we use uh, this group. Oh, and I should actually go back in because I need to unequip those in the party. Those not in the party now. A little glitch there for a second. That's okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna just return after I equip everybody. So okay, now we're done equipping everybody. So let's lift off. We're just pretty much lifting off to land again so yay all right anyway <laughs> anyway uh, let's go to Narsh we've been waiting for you this way please it's good good 
good. It's good. It's good. Uh, oh, you're here. People of Nash finally have decided to battle the Empire. How did it go at Vector? Yes, mm hmm. Mm, indeed. Mm, mm, mm. That's intriguing. I see. Your plan would combine Narsh's money with Figaro's machinery to storm the Empire. Not enough manpower, though. We have to open the sealed gate. To the Esper world? To the Esper world. We'll never beat the Empire without them. When the gate has been opened, the, es the espers can attack from the east. We'll storm in at the same time from the north. No way around it. We must get the espers to understand. We have to establish a bond of trust between humans and espers. Only one person can do this. Of course, it's you, Terra, because you're half esper, half human, you know, because... It's you. It's your character, Terra. Do it. Stop blushing. Freaking do it. Half human, half Esper. My existence is proof that such a bond can exist. It's very true. I'll do it. I'm the only one who can. <laughs> Okay. Sad music. It's Tara's freaking lament, pretty much. Alright. But, before we do that, we left our third spot open for just a certain reason. Uh, we have to come to what is apparently an abandoned house down here in the nor- or south east corner of Narsh, pretty much. Right here. Whoa, I've been made! I am Lone Wolf, the pickpocket. I wanted that treasure. And he's gone. Okay. Received Thief Knife. Earrings. 5,000 GP. No elixir. A wall ring. Sneak ring. Hyper wrist. Empty. Anything in here? Anything in here? No and no. Great. Amazing. Wonderful. Just great. Just perfect in every way. Um, let's see what our new things are. So let's go here, and we'll just go to the very bottom of our list. It should be down here. Ooh, sneak ring. Raises success rate of steel, so that'll be on lock if we had him in our party. Thief knife. Randomly steals an opponent's item. That's cool. Lock and shadow. It's plus three speed. Not bad. Not bad of an item. Not a bad item at all, actually. Alright, and I've got three wall rings now. That's awesome. And I know I have uh, another couple earrings. Actually made a very good haul. I keep on looking that way. The camera's right there. Gah! Alright, so pretty much at this point in this uh, little side quest, we are chasing down this lone wolf, the pickpocket, trying to guess where he ran. And uh, this is one of the few parts that I remember like the back of my hand, so I know exactly where to go, what to do. They even tease me with an item. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? Did you see? Did you see him? You saw him, right? He popped out and then he went away. That's another. Fu oh, there he is. There he is. He's another future uh, party member later on. Persistent, aren't you? Much later on, and by much later on, it's going to be the second half of the game by the time we get him. But he'll be one of our most useful party members, albeit uh, one of our most uncontrollable party members. So, yeah, here we're just fighting things that are just gonna die. Just gonna die. Horrible, horrible deaths. 
Mercy. Flawless victory. So, that's good. Moving on. Let's see, going up here. Pretty much, I keep on... I say that a lot. Now I'm noticing. <coughs> we are going this way. Up through this ice field, which you may remember from the decisive battle. Which was very, very rough for me uh, a couple times because I had to actually deal with that section three separate times. Uh, one, the first was a botched recording, the second time you guys got to see, and the third time was when I had to play through it again to get back to uh, where I was. So, hooray for the Let's Player's Curse. Halt! Don't move or this one dust! It's Moogle. Moogle's helped us out earlier in the game. So, Koopo. Yeah. Oh, got a wild one here. Whoa. So, Moogle's helped us out earlier in the game. Gah, you'll never get this gold hairpin. See, that's the item they're teasing me with. A gold hairpin. But I don't want that. I want to help out the Moogles, because they helped me out earlier. Thank you, Poe. Can you talk? Human-loving, fast-talking, street-smart, slam-dancing Moogle. Say hello to Mog. One of the most useful characters in this game. That old psycho... Psy <laughs> that old psycho, Ramu, came to me in a dream and told me to be expecting you. And now, I'm gonna join your party. With the little Moogle dance. Hmm. This is how it's gonna be, then take this! And he commits suicide. Gold hairpin is is somewhat useful. It would be a useful item to have at this point, but I think another party member is perfect. I'll wait in the airship, Koopo. Oh no, 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 I left the spot open so you could just join my party. Man. Man. Oh, alright, so I'll be back once I get back to the airship. Okay, as promised, I'm back on the airship, so... Here we are, back on the airship. Yay! Um, because we're gonna change our party. We need to look at our new party member, for one. koopa po po koopa po po Yes, we need to change our party members. Uh, we're gonna keep Terra. Lock is there. 17. Wait, hold on. The next part of the game actually is me assaulting. I believe it's me assaulting an Imperial base and then going into the sealed cave. So, this is actually going to be a rough mission, so we're going to need some heavy hitters. So, we're going to bring Terra, because she's our magical heavy hitter. We're bringing our Master of Tools, Edgar, aka Batman. And, because he's new, and because he's level 22, we're going to bring Mog. Because he's going to be useful, he's got a dance ability. By the looks of it, he's already got some magic? Okay. Maybe he does. I don't know. Unequip those not in the party. I'll be back after I finish equipping everybody. Alright, so, finally, Jesus Christ, so much equipping and re-equipping in this episode. And I apologize for that, because there hasn't been much for the line of fighting, and I just hit the wrong thing. Completely and utterly, I'm sorry. Alright, anyway. Up and back down to the Imperial Capital, because now we have to go... Wow. Anyway, we have to go to where the Imperial base right here that they mentioned while we were in Vector. This is the one on the way to the Sealed Capital. The last time we were here 
Or, no, we haven't been here. Sorry. Well, last time, if I had come here earlier, this place would have been overrun with troops and everything. That's odd. No Imperial soldiers. Let's get this over with. So we're going to go in here first. And, again, I apologize for the fact that there hasn't been much in the line of locked. Oh, there's a key somewhere. Oh, that's right. Okay, I can't do that until later. I remember that now. But, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get it through this base. It's an empty base. But if I had come through here earlier, there would have been soldiers who, if even if I had beaten them in, in combat, they would have still knocked me out. So, we're going to investigate this mystery, apparently, um, in the next episode. There, we're going to save right there at the top. So, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe and be on the lookout for more. Thank you for watching, I'm Bink Deadpool, this has been Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. And, until we see each other in the next video, peace out. I used to be the greatest black kid in all the land, <laughs> but one day the monsters of the capital attacked me, see, my spirit. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> I just like you thoroughly right now. <laughs> <laughs>